All right, so welcome back to the video. This is the last transformation I'm going to be showing on video. Uh, so most transformations you'll be able to use the band math option for. Some of them have other options that you can use as well. Um, the toolboxes are quite handy in Envy, so you can do quite a bit. So this last one I'm going to do is, is the Fourier transform. So actually, I'm just going to type in FFT because that's what they call it. So the FFT forward means that you are going from the spatial domain into the frequency domain. Inverse is the reverse. So we're going to do a forward one. I'm going to do the Landsat 7 example first. And then um, I'll show the Landsat 8 after. So we highlight that one, press OK. And that's fine if it will try the odd example, the, the odd number of, of numbers there. And we go FFT, Landsat 7, let's see what it gives us. So press open and OK. And this looks about right. Yes, it does. So this is your FFT, so we can see we got linear information along this, this center line. We got more linear information this way. See some noise out to the side. Higher frequency information is out here. If you look carefully, you can also see a line that goes through at an angle. So I can see that there is a lot of low um, spatial frequency and very little high spatial frequency. So that, and that, that's all I'm going to get you guys to do with this if you are interested in it, just because if you are asked, um, it, it's not going to let me change the color table. Interesting. Okay. But um, it, it, it won't, this is not something that you have to do for the class. Um, just wanted to show you what it looks like in, in, in images. So this is what it looks like. This is Landsat 7. So if I do Landsat 8, I'm going to remove that, and I will do Landsat 8. So set that. I'm going to do a forward transform. Do that. Press OK. It's fine. And this is Landsat 8. It's open and OK. Let it run. And this is, again, what it looks like. So it looks like the Landsat 8 data doesn't have as like well-defined information as compared to the Landsat 7. You can change it up, because right now we're looking at imaginary numbers, I believe. So this is all imaginary. I can come back and actually look at the power. So for example, maybe I want to look at the power of my near infrared. And I get a very different image that looks quite stunning actually. So imaginary numbers are a little bit weird to work with, but the, the power number um, is going to give you that full magnitude of both the real and imaginary together. So that is the Fourier transform. There's really nothing else to it in this class. Um, if you do go into remote sensing in like a, as a career, then there's filter definitions and then er inverting it back. So there's a lot more that can be added to this, but this is just the original information. Um, so I'm just going to see. Yeah, there we go. So once you're working in the power domain, you can apply different different color tables to it. So, so there's that. That's the, the software. That's how you do it. That's how you present it, taking a look at that. Um, when you do your reports, you don't need to do a FOIA transform, you don't need to do the data fusion, but you will definitely need to do PCA and DVI. And TCA, even if they are not applicable for your project, you still need to do them for me. And then you will be doing one or two more other transformations that are more applicable. So that's it for the series at the moment. You will be needing to do this, especially the transformations, to at least one other image before you can um, continue on. I do suggest that if you do all four of your images, if you are alone or all eight of your images and partners, I do suggest that you do all of your, find the best transformation that shows the most information for you and then um, do it to all of them. So just that one, but you just need to do this to one image or two images if you are in partners.